Okay, let's see what we got here. I know what time it is. And we'll check our TCP connection, see what's going on in the network. We've got what looks like probably Telnet listening. Windows we can ignore. 5001 sounds interesting. And so does 9999. Both of those listening. So we can possibly crank up TCP view and find out what process is associated. Here's 9999 listening on local port 9999, and we see mysterious.exe, which is very interesting. And then close to it, we see 5001 in a program called iPerf, which is uh, actually a known program that tests bandwidth. So let's maybe investigate mysterious first. So that process ID is 1500. You'll notice the directory I've moved to. <coughs> And we're going to grab that process, and let's call it uh, process one dump. So we've got user dump, process ID, I believe it was 1500, and then the file we're going to dump it to. And we can investigate that. So that process is done. We can now copy process dump to program file support tools where we've got dump check. And we'll now move over there. So we run dump check against our process one. There we go, we got some errors, but let's see what else we got. For the very top here, this is where it's interesting. So now we know where, there's a mysterious executable, and now we know where it lies. It lies in the temp directory. And here are some more DLL files related to it. So now we'll use the program strings against that same dumped file and see what other information we'll pipe to more. And again, we find out that it's in uh, our files listening in temp directory, or sitting there, I should say. So if we go down a few, let's see what else we get of interest. Because we still don't know what this program does. Now, here we go. This is even more interesting. Minus D minus L minus P minus E command out EXE. So it looks like it's calling for a shell. And what we find out is that this is actually Netcat with its uh, name change. 